Hi beautiful souls, this is Clara Camino speaking. A little while ago I wanted to um I wanted to practice having like a like like an interview questions answer session and uh, but I didn't want to I, I wanted to do it random and impromptu so I just put out the wish <laughs> and then uh, that's one story and then I went to visit um, uh, one of my friends from varsity her mom and then very impromptu this beautiful beautiful mother archetype just started like asking all these spiritual experience questions and on my way home I'm like oh my gosh my wish has been answered just not exactly um, how I thought it would happen but it has been answered and both of us had such an enriching afternoon it is just to go with the flow and trust whatever happens is exactly meant the way uh, it's, it's meant to be in that way and, and then there was one particular question that that she didn't ask but I've noticed that comes up quite regularly and it is the question of what advice would you give your 18 year old and I've spent a little bit time on it and for the love of it I just can't find any advice there is really no advice that I feel can flush through my heart and I can tell you that is the advice that I would give my own 18 year old. And I thought, but why, why is that possible? Because if I can't give her any advice, does it mean that I am not any wiser today than, than what I was at 18? And as I was pondering upon that, I did realize that I have no advice for her. What I do have is to tell her that she faced the world head on and she did an amazing job. It's more a compliment. I want to salute that young girl who stepped into the world, but she never seemed to be consumed by the world and for me how can I give her any advice when at some level I feel that she's been more brave more courageous more committed more in tune and aligned that I actually feel like I am at my age right now and if I were to face her, I would say the thing that I admire most is that you knew when to leave the safety of a proverbial harbor. You, you knew when to leave it. You, you tackled the wide oceans like, like an adventure. You knew exactly when to put the sails up and, and go for speed. But this is the part that amazes me, is how, how you also knew when the environment, when this ocean in which you live became too dangerous, you knew intuitively to lower your sails. Let them, hoist them another day, but don't don't get them damaged where they where you are. So I I am pondering with a thought whether if we tap into the energy of who we were much younger in our teens as an 18 year old, even as a 20, 21 year old whether we were then not more attuned than where we are now 
Because when I look at my own life, I do realize that, that maybe I should ask her for forgiveness. Because at some stage, I started to listen to other people a little bit more and more and more. And when I started doing that, I started to silence her. I am then the one that should ask for forgiveness. I am the one that then should go back to her. And you know, even as I'm telling this, I can feel how my throat is, is, is having an energy experience right now. If I don't even think that I can warn her about what lies ahead. Because to warn her is to tell her that she must now start preparing. And in her own way, she lived every moment. By warning, it feels to me I am ignoring the little baby steps that brings me up until that moment. And that is another danger that I have found that um, I need to deal with. So in the very end, the only thing that I can share with myself is that this path that, that we are on, when we live aligned and attuned with the divine counsel and with divine intuitive guidance, we can handle it. It doesn't, that guidance does not come way in advance. It merely comes in the moment. And then the question is, but what about premonitions and warnings? Yes, I did receive I was much younger when I received my first warning and it wasn't, it was quiet, it was very calm and I just knew in that moment that something is about to happen and what I can so clearly um, remember is exactly where I stood and how I heard Spirit say, something is about to happen. It is going to be scary. And then, uh, and, and, and then they said, and you will be okay. And for me, those words have become so profound because I have come to learn that when spirit gives me guidance is to also listen what he said after the comma. I, I have never ever received guidance through another human being in a group session that has been so profoundly empowering, like what I've received through spirit. And for that, I think for me, this, this is the value in this sharing, is to know that I've always had it and that I can maybe return inwards even a little bit more. We always think older is wiser. For me, older does have more experiences. Yes, I do believe that my power within the divine is much stronger today than then. But I would not, I would not feel comfortable. I would not feel that that is the right thing to do for me is to tell my younger self that I know better now because she did an amazing job. I'm still baffled. 
So I would much rather want to compliment her, support her, love her, embrace her and call her back in and not silence her and not dominate her with advice. There is no need to subscribe, but if you must follow someone, follow your own heart.